why don't you tell me how it all started? 2020. When he wanted to leave. And why did he want to leave? To this day, I still don't know if he wanted to leave. But that stupid piece of... Okay, okay. Let's settle down and try not to get too emotional here. <sighs> yeah, okay. Adam Scheffner leaked to the world. Which, by the way, he didn't even have a source. We found out that... Rogers wanted to leave or retire and wasn't happy at all. And what did Rogers think of all that? Well, see, Rogers didn't really say anything for a couple months. And then he went on the Pat McAfee show and basically called out Adam Scheffner for his journalism. So this problem is still affecting you two years later? Well, it's not just that anymore. We, we, uh, we lost the best wide receiver in the NFL to those scummy Raiders. And this man could already be facing jail time. I see. So you miss him? Yes. The wide receivers we have right now couldn't even catch an extra size ball if it was coming straight for them with no defenders. And I mean, I, I, I don't want Adams to go to jail. I don't want to see that happen to him. But I'm just tired of the media. After week one, they posted all these great stats about Adams and how bad the the whole wide receiver core for the Packers was. But then as soon, as soon as they start playing better than Adams, the media goes silent. The media doesn't want to talk about that. The media doesn't want to post about that. Why are we only going on a one-way street? You got to go both sides. You got to play both sides. Especially with something like that. Especially because all the media does is talk about that. I wonder if he misses us as much as I miss him. Seems like the whole world is falling apart in Green Bay. Can you find any good? In it though? I guess it's still early in the season, so things could change around and get better. I mean, we did kind of bully Joe Barry into, you know, letting Jair be up on the wide receiver and play more man to man, but Scary Terry just burned him in Washington last week, so. And Matt LaFleur doesn't know how to change his offense at all. I mean, it's been the same thing for the past three years. There you go. Anything else? Nope. None at all. Well then, why don't you take the weekend and think about it? I guess I could since, uh... Well, this weekend's definitely going to be an L. It already feels like an L. So, if we win, I don't know. If I'm even going to have confidence back. I just might not feel anything at all. I don't know. Alright. We'll give you that assignment. And then uh, we'll see you the next time we see you. Well... You might start seeing me weekly from here on out.